I got a long updated one for you guys today. Am I the asshole for asking too many questions during lecture prompting my professor to berate me? Okay, for context, yes, I am that one student in class who asks a lot of questions during lecture. I also have a tendency to dominate class discussions when the professor gives us problems to solve. I'm a pre-med student and getting into medical school is the one goal I am determined to achieve as a result of that motivation. I approach every course with enthusiasm. Most professors like it when I engage, but I know it can get annoying when I do it too much and the professors I have always let me know when I'm overdoing it, which I'm grateful for. That being said, in my molecular biology class, I bring with me that same enthusiasm I have in my other classes. I also ask a lot of questions in this class and one day I raised my hand to ask a question regarding lecture material. The molecular biology professor called on me and I asked a question which prompted him to berate me in front of the whole class. Basically he said in my I can't have you interrupting me every five minutes for a lecture I only have 50 minutes to give. At the end of the class I overheard a few students in my class thanking him for berating me after I asked a question. On the one hand I understand why he was mad but on the other hand if he didn't want me to interrupt him during lecture why would he call on me to ask a question when my hand was raised like seriously if we wanted no interruptions during lecture why would he call for that interruption by acknowledging my signal hand raising and asking what I had a question about I felt like he was baiting me just so he could have a reason to yell at me in front of the whole class a class where 40% of the students are on their phones looking at social media I cried that night and tried to vent my feelings to my own brother I had no one else to go to who basically responded by telling me it was my fault. He then told me that no one likes the kid who keeps asking questions in class. After a few days analyzing the events that took place, I now feel a great deal of anger towards my professor for embarrassing me in front of the whole class. I scheduled office hours with him so that we could go over the material I had trouble understanding and I'm seriously considering demanding an apology from him. I would understand his reaction if I was simply shouting my questions out while he was lecturing, but I wasn't. I followed social convention, I raised my hand, and he called on me which signaled to me that it was okay for me to ask that question. Am I the asshole? Should I demand an apology from him? Update. For additional context regarding my other lectures, whenever the professor has brought it up to my attention that I am dominating or asking too many questions, I always try to limit the amount of questions I ask while giving others a chance to engage in the course. Okay, I get that I'm the a-hole for asking too many questions, but can someone explain this to me? If a professor doesn't want me to ask any more questions, why would they call on me when I have my hand raised? That's the part that confuses me most. Info update three. Forgot to include this context. I wasn't asking seven to eight questions in one lecture, but more like two to three every other lecture. The berating started on the second question of that lecture. Verdict, a-hole. Why wouldn't I call them an a-hole? There's another update. I was unable to recover the missing content due to changes with Reddit's API, but I saved it at the time of the original update posting. Unfortunately, this post can't be placed on the original subreddit, but I think it's important anyway. At the time, I was so embarrassed and mad over the situation that I deleted my account out of frustration. But to be clear, your advice has not fallen on deaf ears. I finally accepted my judgment and immediately apologized to my professor and told him I was seeking out professional help to try and solve this problem. He apologized for reacting the way he did and hugged me before we went over some of the concepts I asked about in his class. As for me, I sought out professional help from a therapist. I told her my background, which I believe led to my behavior in college. Basically, when I was in high school, I had the opposite problem described in the post above. Teachers always criticized me for being lazy and turning my work in late. On my final day of high school, my science teacher told me to give up on med school. He told me that with my current attitude, I would never succeed in an environment where dozens of other more talented pre-meds would compete to get into medical school school. His words really stuck with me and I got very anxious because of it. Before I started, I promised myself that I would be more engaging and ask more questions in lecture to show the professors that I really Kid. While this approach raised my GPA in college, it alienated my classmates. My mind was racing every lecture and I felt compelled to ask a question, literally any question, or feel like a failure. Oh, that's, that is odd. I'm actually glad that you're seeing a therapist because I didn't even realize it was going that deep. All right. After hearing about this, my therapist suggested I see a psychiatrist who put me on SSRIs. I can't remember. 
Ever since taking these meds, the impulse to shoot my hand up and ask a question has become more controllable. Furthermore, my anxiety is under control and I feel more helpful about the future. I told my molecular biology professor about my situation and he told me that instead of looking at my fellow classmates as competitors, I have to elbow out of the way to succeed, I should consider them as teammates to help lift up. So I did just that. I agreed to join him in office hours where he and I would help other pre-meds in his class and other classes. He also teaches biochemistry prepare for their final exam. I ended up finishing his class with an A and if that wasn't the cherry on top, I found out he also played Warzone. We exchanged gamer tags and we've been playing a lot of DMZ online as teammates. Occasionally he gets frustrated with me because I keep dying a lot in games, but we still get along. I will be applying to med school this year and he has offered me an opportunity to do research with him over the summer to help boost my application. I'm very thankful to him for this opportunity and to you all for helping me snap out of my arrogance. It seems like they were just trying to better themselves and they were using prior experiences to better themselves which is understandable that's what you're supposed to do you get the feedback and you work on it if it's something that you agree with so i wouldn't have necessarily called them the a-hole however nobody likes that kid in class and i often felt like if i was feeling like i was asking too many questions which i don't i'd only ask if i really needed the help otherwise i usually try to find the answer myself within the book so i don't have to raise my hand because my anxiety is just like please don't look at me i just have a question just don't just don't look at me like to everybody else in the classroom but i definitely would say that at the end of the day it's probably a good thing that people on reddit did call this person out as the a-hole because it actually helped better them in the end like they ended up having a better relationship with the teacher they ended up um, with an A in that class they ended up getting the therapy they needed so that their anxiety wasn't wreaking havoc on them during their class time so in a way it was a good verdict because it did help them assess and it actually ended up boosting that really yeah your teacher probably shouldn't have said it like that like if I was a teacher I would have been like hey I get that you're enthusiastic but let's pull it back a little bit you do have other people in this class so you know let's just keep things moving and if you have any major questions see me after class you know what I'm saying that's my verdict you let me know what you think in the comments below I'm really glad everything worked out for the OP and I hope you all have a wonderful day I'm checking out here bye bye